It's been a very tough couple of weeks for most every investor. Coming into a Friday afternoon, very few people want to get caught with inventory, stocks on their books, particularly for trading firms and leverage trading firms. So they're trying to get flat. They don't want to have long positions if news comes out over the weekend and somehow affects those prices. So to see this coming into the final hour probably makes some sense. I would still hold my breath for that last half an hour to really see which direction things take. As we've had these dramatic headlines, we've had dramatic market reactions. I was a little more encouraged with oil, the way it's been sort of ratcheting up and down. You don't begin to make a bottom until you stop making new lows. So I'm fingers crossed here. But a lot of this still seems kind of orderly. Have you been buying anything, uh, Michael? Yeah, we have very slowly. Uh, we've also trimmed uh, some uh, positions. But at a certain point, when we hit price targets, we have begun to nibble on certain things that look to be of good value, uh, like Apple, for instance, is one that we have started to uh, add more to that position. We're looking at some other names, too. It's interesting to see that uh, we're looking for like the names like Pepsi and Procter and Gamble and some of those uh, tried and true Johnson and Johnson's and some of the pharmaceutical companies are typically safe havens. They have been more volatile in this market. A lot of days when that's just massive selling, everything gets sold, doesn't matter what it is. Uh, but we know that those companies with solid balance sheets have the stuff to endure really difficult markets and will still be here in a couple of years. All right, Steve. So as you watch the same kind of action, this this real seesaw in crude uh, the last half hour, hour or so has been pretty interesting. Now it's only down 11 percent. It was had plunged earlier. Does that tell you uh, you get any information from that about, you know, anything from what you can glean about what Scott Wapner said about what was happening out at the CME? Yeah, I mean, Kelly, everyone you, you, on a Friday, like Michael said, people want to lighten up their positions today, though. You had a huge expiration. So that usually, if none of this was going on, if this happened in a vacuum, you're looking at a tailwind. So to Michael's point, you never know what happens in the last half hour of the day. We're getting close. We're down over 700 points. I would love to think that people have to shore up their positions in the last half hour. We get an incredible rally. But with as uh, Walker Amen. just reported on, on CME, this gets to be, you know, a, a shakeout situation. But I do believe that you're going to have to see what this massive sell-off that we've seen in equities has to result in people trying to buy equities because they have to rebalance their portfolios. So I, wouldn't, I would not discount the ability for the market to rally aggressively into the close today. 